two lies and a truth. Okay, and we're on to two lies and a truth. And ladies and gentlemen, remember to subscribe on YouTube down below. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, check our channel out. It's youtube.com forward slash go post jumpers. Two lies and a truth, Alex. Explain to the audience there and there. No, there. No, th- and there. Yeah. No, there. There, mate. Uh, two lies and a truth. No, I'm going to need you to point at them. Hi. Hi, guys. Uh, two lies and a truth here. This is what we do yeah. best. This is our favourite part of the show, Gareth's favourite part of the show. It's not. This is where I give you and the audience, yourselves, <laughs> three different stories yes. two of them are lies one of them is true it's about yep. the world of football okay you've got to guess which one is true yes Baker you have trouble with this normally yes yes so shall we take us what I'm going to do this week and okay. we do it occasionally mm. I'm going to give you the title I'm going to give you guys the title Baker you've got to guess what the story is from the title can't wait yes first story yeah can you put that away Crouchy I'm watching elephants <laughs> Can you put that away, Crouchy? I'm watching elephants. Am I supposed to guess the story as well from that? Guess the story. Nwanku Kanu yeah. uh, once visited West Midlands Safari Park with Peter Crouch, and Peter Crouch got his trunk out, yeah. which in turn was ruining Nwanku Kanu's view of real trunks, the elephants. <laughs> Not, not far away. Shut up. Peter Crouch was once caught watching elephants while naked with Nwankwo Kanu. That's really good from me. Not bad. Oh, Story nice. number two. Alan hit a curb ishly and veered into the ladies. Alan hit a curb ishly and veered into the ladies. Curb ish. Okay, so. So you know who it's about? Alan Kerbishly. Right, okay. Struggle. Pretty, pretty fucking obvious, isn't it? Struggle. Said his name in the title. Uh, Alan Kerbishly once veered off the road whilst drinking under, driving under the influence, and hit a woman. Which is this is a horrible story if that's true. Alan Kerbishly once crashed his bike into a woman's toilet and had to explain himself to the police. Story number two. How about he explains himself to the world? How did you manage doing that with your car into a toilet? Story number three. Why? Did you do it? Uh, Story number three. Uh, 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 That's exactly why you should stick to refereeing. That's exactly why you should stick to refereeing. That's a boring title. That's exactly... That's exactly why you should stick. Exactly. I know it. Go on. Someone threw an egg, a referee doing a match... So, oh, uh, no, that's not it. No. Mike Dean, Premier League referee, sold his neighbour a decorative Fabergé egg. However, authorities intervened when his neighbour twigged it was a fake. Dean was forced to refund the money paid, but luckily the Premier League ref faced no further punishment. That was Mike so Dean his... selling a fake Fabergé egg. So his referee twigged on to him doing this. His neighbour. So is that why he should stick to refereeing because <laughs> he twigged onto him and twigs are a type of stick okay I don't know where the story is I wasn't listening because I was thinking of my joke what was the story the story was Mike Dean <laughs> sold a fake Fabergé egg to his neighbour and had to return the money he was paid for it okay decorative like kind of ornamental eggs Aww, so they are eggs that's nice and they go for millions apparently why why would why would why would my, why why would Mike Dean do that? Three. You definitely didn't fabricate that story. <laughs> Can we continue? Carnu, na- naked, watching elephants with Crouch. I, look, personally, if you ask me, the Mike Dean one story, Mike Dean story is true because a, there's no way, as mental as your mind is, mm. that you could come up with that story. The, Unless you're on acid. Okay. Unless you took an acid tab. DJ fucking bad boy here, steaming a shite. I'm about to tell you a story about my Friday night. Yeah. When you wrote these clues, which sometimes I think you do. Yeah. There's no way that you come up with that story. There's no way. So you're definitely ruling that one out. No. Oh, you're definitely ruling out Peter Crouch, sorry. And you're definitely ruling out Alan Kerbishley. But you think that's too mental that Mike Dean, for me to make it up, that Mike Dean sold a Fabergé egg and had to return it. 
Exactly. And I think you mentioned to me yesterday that you listened to something to do with Mike Dean on a podcast. So you think I might have got it from that? No, but you're bamboozling me. You know that you said that to me. And you knew that I would think uh, what I've just thought. It's not as easy as then, you think, guys. But then, but then you knew that, that you knew that I knew that you said that yesterday. So you didn't think that I would guess that. That's it. Yeah. I don't know. So you're gonna go, ladies and gentlemen, with Mike Dean, eggs. Imagine. <laughs> What a stupid thing to say. Imagine this quiz on the chase. Imagine this quiz being this, broadcast to people. If this was genuinely broadcast, hmm. other than us, yeah. to the general public, yeah. people would think it was a mental hospital radio or something. Yeah. I'm going look, I'm going with my Dean eggs. Okay. Are you ready for it? Okay. Are you ready for it? The true story is... Can you put that away, Crouchy? I'm watching elephants. That's no way. No, I think you were more... a Portsmouth. Uh, yeah, I think Harry Redknapp. So apparently the story goes, Harry Redknapp organised a safari for the Portsmouth team while away in South Africa on yeah. a pre-season tour. Yeah. Their balcony overlooked a game reserve where elephants were drinking. Crouch was having a shower out the back where the showers were situated. Yeah. And he looked over and saw Kanu and Kanu and Crouchy were both naked watching the elephants together. Okay. Mike. That's annoyed me that that's true. Almost as annoying as your squeaky chair. I hate this feature uh, so much. It's a fun, fun game. Thank you very much, by the way, for uh, dealing with Alex's two lies and a truth. Until next time. But yeah. until then... You stay classy, goalpost. That's not a thing. That's not a thing. Well, I just done just that. It. But the thing is, no one listens to the, Like, when I listen to a podcast, I turn off now because it's like what well, it's ended. Yeah. So, so we can say whatever we want. Flabby vaginas on my face. I have coronavirus. I hate children. I once ate a Mars bar without eating any of the chocolate. I the fuck do you do that? I don't particularly like <laughs> <That's funny. laughs>